Forget what you think you know about American cars, because rides like the new Buick Regal GS prove you're wrong. I'm Tom Davis, and this is Life in the Left Lane. Today we're heading out with Buick's Nick Richards to test drive the new Buick Regal GS. It's an all-wheel drive turbocharged sports sedan built to take on the big boys from Germany and Japan. And I was pleasantly surprised with the results. I don't want to be rude. I'm just saying surprisingly because when people think of Buick, they think of text with large print. They think of landlines. They think of incontinence. What have you done? You know, this, the Regal is our, is our sportiest expression. I think when you look at the, uh, this vehicle uh, is indicative of the entire Buick lineup now. I have been witness to many wills and it seems like it's always a Buick that's getting handed down to somebody else. What we've done as a brand, what we've done in the showroom, and the type of consumers that are now coming into the Buick showroom and buying Buick, Buick vehicles, it is no longer uh, the vehicle that uh, you know, is your last vehicle. Um, as a lot of people used to say about Buick. You know, so there's, there is a lot of history with Buick and uh, there was a time period where um, to make the greatest vehicles. Um, I think we're past that and I think is... You know, the... Well, I think maybe they've always been a quality car, but they haven't been a, a vehicle for the world stage, you know. You know, you, you're, it's not the... You don't think about taking a Buick through the Alps, you know what I mean, and enjoying the suspension and, and the engine and revving it out. But it's just sort of been that quintessential old American car. This, however, feels very, very worldly. Yeah, this is, uh, it's European inspired. Uh, it started life as the uh, Opel Insignia, uh, which was a European car of the year. GM sells the Insignia in Germany and throughout Europe. And if you're in the backyard of BMW, Audi, and Mercedes, you have to be good. This car is literally a world away from your grandma's LeSabre. And that's the basis, the foundation for this vehicle. And then uh, we did a lot of things from a uh, uh, sus suspension standpoint, uh, from an interior refinement standpoint to make it a Buick. The interior is great. It's a mix of digital and analog gauges with soft surfaces and supple leather. I'm six foot three and I fit in the thing very comfortably. I got tons of headroom. The missing manual is a problem for me, but apparently not to you, according to sales figures that show stick shifts are all but dead. And the thing is jam-packed with all the safety stuff. So we've got our standard backup camera. Mm -hmm. And what this is doing is this is, uh, it's allowing us to see what is behind the vehicle. And this beeping that's going off is, uh, we've got two other systems. We've got rear cross traffic alert, which will tell us if there's something coming from our blind spot. So either from the, from the uh, right or the left, and then we've got the uh, rear park assist, so that'll tell us if there's something as we're backing up that is uh, in proximity to the vehicle that we might hit. So as you can see here, we've got a body that we may hit, uh, so it's telling us that uh, you know not to back up any further. You know, just by looking at it on the outside, it's it's a very beautiful vehicle. It's very refined, but you wouldn't guess in looking at it that it'll do 162 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? No. Sounds like a challenge to me. It's a sleeper. 259 horsepower out of a turbocharged two liter, almost 300 foot pounds of torque. And the best part is the cops are never going to be looking for a speeding Buick. Not a lot of body roll in it. I mean, it just feels like a, a really sporty car. And you know, in the real world, you know, I'm not talking about a skid pad or something, but in the real world, when I've got my daughter and my son back here, and you know we're on our way to the grocery store. You don't have a lot of time for skid pads. I mean, you're you know you're going to get some uh, some Lucky Charms or something, yep. and you get just a little taste of that of that sporty feel. And you know it's it's just enough to satisfy a grown man. That's something you could not do with an American car, you know, five ten years ago. This vehicle, and you know really the entire Buick lineup today provide something to consumers that you know has been missing in the marketplace for a long time and that's you know this 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 luxurious quality um, you know that's you know kind of packaged with a great handling great performing vehicle so there you go it's good looking it's athletic it's solid it's got a touch of worldly flair it's like Maria Sharapova only lots cheaper the base model starts at twenty nine thousand dollars and goes up from there if you're looking for a sporty, reliable car to replace an aging German ride with mounting repair bills, test drive it. You'll like it. I did.